Hi, it's JP here with Brizzy, and today we are talking about the latest update to our Brizzy WordPress plugin, including some brand new things that you can do with it, a lot of additions to existing features, a lot of fixes, and we've squashed many, many a bug. Let's jump right in and talk about those that are exclusive to this WordPress update, and that is compatibility features. All of these happen under the hood, which means they focus on integration. First of that is Broken Link Checker, SEO Press, and Rank Math. You will not find anything within the dashboard connecting to these three plugins. They all happen under the hood, but ensures compatibility. In general, we've optimized and rewritten options in the builder for border, box shadow, code mirror, color picker, image upload, input text, multi-select, element toolbar, select slider, switch tabs, toggle text area, and topography. Many, many fixes. Force SMTP encryption by default under there will be an option to change it in configuration form. Disabled news dashboard widget for instances where white label is active. And the list goes on. Please check the change log if you want to know exactly of all the fixes and what happened also in the change log for Pro. But let's talk about the new stuff. A brand new inclusion within Brizzy WordPress plugin is the maintenance and coming soon mode. Remember always when you want to put it within maintenance mode or coming soon, you have to go and create a maintenance page or a coming soon page. Lo and behold, you can do that within the Brizzy Builder. Create your page, go to the settings and simply choose this page that you had created as your coming soon page. New Pro elements include the comments element that allows you to display comments from Facebook, Discuss, and even WordPress comments. The switcher element is very similar to the tab feature, except with this feature you have full control over two areas that you can switch between. Put content in the left, switch, put content in the right, and this is a great way, especially if you want to build out subscriptions on a monthly and annual, or if you want to have something like a, a recurring subscription versus a once-off subscription. The timeline element allows you to display things, well, in a line and in time. And you can decide whether you want to display it horizontally or vertically. As always, we are very proud of the elements that we bring in because we make sure that they work the Brizzy way. That means that you can take any content, drag it and drop it within the timeline element, and it will work, style, and play the way the Brizzy way should. Need a little bit of glamour to your site? Bring in the bling with the star rating element. This dedicated element allows you to display up to five stars for ratings that you want to apply to certain parts on your site. Now also included is a search element. Simply drag and drop it onto the site where you want the search element to appear. A good idea would be to put it in your header, and then you have the option to choose between two styles for the search element. In terms of social media, all the Twitter fans, you have the option now of the Twitter element. A few skins are available in here, so play around with the settings that fit your style the best. A few elements underwent a little bit of a facelift. First of that is the video player. More features now when you bring in videos in terms of YouTube and Vimeo, but in Pro you get additional features and that is that you can upload your custom video. Simply upload your video to the media library and then within the video player select custom and bring in your video. The audio element has had a similar makeover. Previously known as SoundCloud, now it is known as Audio. For Brizzy Free users, it's still basically just a SoundCloud element. But for Brizzy Pro users, you get the option now to upload custom audio. That means if you have a podcast that you want to put on your site, you can simply upload that to your media library and then upload it via the custom settings. A lot of the elements have had improvements and these are available in free and pro. The progress element has now two styles. We've also made some other refinements to it. 
caps element, major changes. Not only can you add icons to the various tabs individually, we also included now a vertical option for the tabs to appear. You can also select to put those tabs on the left or on the right. Similar to that, the accordion element also includes icons now. Another feature included in the accordion element is that of tags. Tags will allow the visitor to select a specific tag and that will filter through all the options in the various accordion dropdowns. The counter element has really had a huge facelift. We've added three styles to it. So you can go through it, choose the style you want, and even set it up as a pie chart. Remember to use percentages here when you get to these styles. Similar to the accordion element, the gallery element also includes now tag options. What that means is that you can assign tags to the different photos. These will appear at the top of the gallery element. Selecting them will choose which images will display. A really great filter. Some improvements have also been made to the Facebook element. Previously, where we had a number of Facebook elements, we've now just consolidated that into one element from which you can choose the various displays. Lastly, let's talk about a few new features. We have improved the element toolbar to make sure that it doesn't cover the content anymore when you are editing it. I'm pretty sure that you've run into this situation before where you were working at the top of a page on a text element and when you access the toolbar options, it overlapped the text and you couldn't see the changes you were making. That won't happen again. If you are at the top of the page, that toolbar will pop open at the bottom of the content. And if you are at the bottom of the page, the toolbar will open up at the top of the content. A sticky situation is where you have columns within columns or in rows and where the borders are very close to each other and you cannot access the settings. Now you can do that by simply clicking on any element within that container and then on your keyboard, press Escape. That will take you one level up, so from your element to the next column. If you press Escape again, it will take you to the next column, and if you press Escape again, it will take you to the settings of the block. This way you can cycle up to the settings you need. To the More Options sidebar, we've included two settings. The first one of that is the sticky setting, which means that if you lock the sidebar, it will stay there regardless of what you do. It means that if you click on one element and then on another one, it will just cycle through the settings of those various elements. No need to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to make changes to padding of various elements. It will stay open. With this, you also have the option now to dock it on the right or on the left. This will be pretty useful if you have content that is full width and the sidebar is overlapping some of that content and you cannot see it. Simply switch between left and right. And one more feature worth mentioning is the Get Help link. If you're ever stuck in a rut, go here to Get Help, click on that and submit your request. Or of course, go through the documentation already available on our website. This is really a nutshell of what this update is all about. So much has happened under the hood with hundreds of improvements, fixes and small little extra glitter thrown on top of that. Update today, take it for a spin, and if you run into any bugs, remember to go to that Get Help link or submit a request for technical support. While we're on the topic of WordPress, remember that we are currently offering our last thousand limited lifetime licenses for the Brizzy WordPress Pro at a price of 299. At brizzy.io, if you go to pricing, you will see the countdown here as these licenses are rolling away. Once we reach the end of this pit, this deal of 299 US dollars will never be repeated. The lifetime license will not disappear, but it will never appear again at this very decent price. In the next weeks, we are rolling out video tutorials on all these features for those in Brizzy Cloud as well as for the WordPress plugin. Make sure you subscribe here to YouTube to stay up to date on all these tutorials and other news.